What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I have some really good news as well as some pretty bad news. Now the really good news is that you can jailbreak any device running iOS 8.0 through iOS 8.1.x. So basically any device on iOS 8 right now, you can jailbreak. Now the bad news is that it's not going to install Cydia. It's actually going to install a Pangu app. Now I've already tested this on another device and this is basically for developers to update their tweaks, apps, as well as update Cydia. Now, once Cydia is actually updated, you will be able to update or install Cydia directly through the Pangu app. So, it's still a good step in the right direction. If you guys want to go ahead and jailbreak right now, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And then once Cydia is available, you should be able to directly install Cydia from this Pangu app. So, let me go ahead and show you guys how to do it. It's pretty simple. Now, what you want to do is go to this website right here. It's just pangu.io, and they've updated it, so it looks a little bit different. So, once you go here, this is only going to work on Windows. So, once you get to this website, just go ahead and click on Windows right here to download it. It's only 33 megs. And then, once you download it, go ahead and run it and open it up. It's going to look just like this. Now, there's going to be a lot of funny characters. You're not going to know what it's saying, but this is all you're going to have to do. Just make sure you plug in your device, as you can see I have right here. And then once you plug that in, you'll notice that it says your iPhone, iPhone 6 Plus or iPhone 6 or whatever your device is. You want to make sure that this tab is clicked right here. And then once you have, go ahead and click on this button right here. Now before you start this process, make sure that you back up your device. You also want to turn off your passcode as well as touch ID. And if you have that all turned off, make sure you turn off find my iPhone just in case. Once you've done all that, you can go ahead and start the jailbreak. And I'll go ahead and speed up through this so you guys don't have to wait through the entire process. Now you're going to see the Apple logo screen quite a few times before it actually boots back up. Once it boots back up and says hello, then that means you're good to go. Alright, so now you can slide the setup and it's going to ask for your password here. Alright, so once you type in your password, it's going to update everything. So now you can turn on Find My iPhone if you want to do that. We'll go ahead and turn that on. Create a passcode. and then you can tap get started and then you'll swipe over here and you'll notice that we don't have Cydia but we do have this Pangu icon. If we tap on that this is basically what the interface looks like. I haven't used it much yet but you can see we have three tabs down here. We have home, manager, and about us and you can see if we refresh this it should have some uh, information right here. There it is. Alright so now you can see here that we have Cydia, we have OpenSSH, we have a few tools down here that we can uh, download but if we open this up you can see that obviously it's in a completely different language that I can't read or understand but again you should be able to install Cydia from this app, the Pangu app, once it's actually available so definitely keep that in mind. Hopefully that'll be soon, of course I'll keep you guys up to date. If you want to stay up to date make sure you subscribe as also follow me on Twitter. I'll put a link in the description below. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more videos about everything Jailbreak as well as everything Apple, then make sure you subscribe. Alright guys, until next time, peace.